we're going to set up a workbook where we'll create the user form. I've got a new blank workbook and I'm going to rename sheet one. This is where the data will be stored. So I'll double click on that sheet tab, type parts data, all one word, and then press the enter key to complete that name. The next step is to put the headings. We're going to have four text boxes on the user form where we will collect data. And on this worksheet, we're going to put the headings that will match those text boxes. So starting in cell A1, the first heading is part ID, and that's all one word, location, date, and quantity, QTY. Now with one of those cells selected, I'm going to change this into a named Excel table. So I've selected cell A1, and on the Insert tab, I'll click Table, and in this dialog box, I'll just check to make sure it says A1 to D1. So that's correct. My table has headers. I'll put a check mark there and click OK. And now it creates a formatted Excel table. We can see drop downs in the heading. And there's a new tab on the ribbon called Design, and that's under Table Tools. So we'll be working with this table. That's where our data will be stored. And the final step in setting up the workbook is to name the file. We're going to save it. So I'll go to the File tab, click Save. You can select a folder where you want to store the file. And we'll name this file Parts DB for Database, Text 01, and then press Tab to move out of that box. The next selection is the type of file. We'll be storing macros in this workbook, so we have to use a macro-enabled file type. So from the drop-down, select Excel Macro-Enabled Workbook, which is the extension XLSM, and then click Save to save the file. So the file is set up now, and the next step will be to add a user form.